In this video, we're gonna look at what my solar panels are producing in the UK during winter time. And as you know, during winter in the UK, it can get very dull, dark, rainy, just really dreary, drizzly, dark weather. So interested to see how much my four 405 watt Longy panels will produce. At the height of summer, when the sun's shining, I should be getting 16, 1600 watts, 1600 kilowatts. Um, but during the winter, that's gonna be a lot less. Some days, not producing any. Some days, not too bad. So we'll pull up some stats and show you some figures from my home assistant of how much the panels are getting compared to a BBC weather forecast and the lux value, which is a value of light. So all those together, we'll see how much they're all producing during a various few days during the winter. Just as a quick recap, I bought four 405 watt longy panels. I've got a flat roof at the back of my house, which is south facing. I self-installed those with a Solax 3 kilowatt inverter, which is grid tied. If you haven't already watched my original video, the DIY solar project worth it in the UK, please go back and watch it now and this video will make a lot more sense. So let's first just have a look at this screen and I'll describe what's going on here. The top layer up here is a BBC weather forecast for that particular day. And as you can see here, I've got it ranging from 8 a.m. up until 6 p.m. And it shows cloud, sun, rain, and gives a basic indication of what the weather is going to be like for that day. But that doesn't indicate how bright the day is. The middle one here is what the solar panels generated in watts during the day. And they pretty much line up with the time of the BBC weather forecast above. So you can see in this instance, the first bit of power I got was at 10 o'clock. And then the last bit of power was at about 2.30 in the afternoon. And I'll go into the uh, ins and outs of why that is, why we didn't get power before 10 o'clock and why we didn't get power after, after 2.30. The bottom one here is a measurement of lux. And lux is a measurement of light. And I've got a lux indicator on top of the panels to show me in relation to how much watts I'm getting, how much light we were getting during the day as well. And there you can see the, the times are more or less matching uh, as well. So just to recap, on the top is the BBC weather forecast for the day. The middle is a measurement of how many watts we're getting. And the bottom one is a measurement of light. Now this graph was taken from the 4th of December 2023 in the UK and I live down in Kent. This is an indication of how much solar power we got on that particular day. You can see by the weather it's from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. The height of the watts we got was almost 100 watts at uh, around midday. But, you know, averaging sort of 40, 60 watts, something like that during the day. You can see here before 10 o'clock, we'd, we'd got no power whatsoever. And then between sort of 1 o'clock and 1.30 in the afternoon and just after 1.30, there was no power at all coming in. And you think, well, it was daytime. Why weren't you getting any power at all? And the answer is because inverters need a certain amount of watts to actually fire up in the first instance. So if you're just getting like four or five watts, that's not enough to fire up the inverter. So it's just not enough power for the inverter to convert from DC to AC. In relation to the bottom meter, which is the measurement of light in lux, you can see they're pretty comparable. So as the day brightens up, we get more wattage on the panels, which converts into AC and power to my house. If you've watched my other videos, you'll see that I haven't got batteries. Batteries can be quite expensive. I've got a grid tied system, which just means that I can use what I'm producing. If I don't use what I'm producing, it just gets thrown away. I haven't got a deal with the grid, so I don't get paid for any electricity that goes back. So if we take a quick look at how much energy we produced on that day, you can see by this graph, we produced 0.1 kilowatt hour for that whole day, which is just not great. It was a very dark day. So if we take a look at the second set of graphs here, this is from the 5th of December, 2023 in the UK. I live down in Kent. And you can see this one is even more of a dark day than it was the day before. Uh, we start producing electricity around 10 a.m. Um, of a 
maximum of around 30, 40 watts. Um, and then you see around midday, it gets so dark that the inverter just shuts down. There's not even enough wattage to fire up the inverter. 12.40 on, we get a bit more power and we get a maximum that day of around 80 watts. What's interesting about this second one is if we take a look at how much energy we produced that day, we didn't even produce enough for it to register on the kilowatt hour, zero kilowatt hour that day. It was so little. Obviously we got some, but it wasn't even enough to register. Let's have a look at number three. And as you can see, I'm not painting a very bright picture here of the UK's weather during the winter. And we can see here, this was the 7th of December, 2023. And again, a pretty dark and dreary day with some rain in the morning and rain most of the afternoon. You can see we fired up around 9.15, something like that. We were getting 20 watts, but uh, soon picked up and we got like 80 watts up to just over 100 around 11 o'clock. And then as the rain kicked in and the clouds came over, darker clouds, we, we pulled down to 2 o'clock. We started to not generate any electricity at all. You see on the bottom, the measurement of light, the lux is, is very comparable with how much energy we're, we're producing there. So depending on how much light we get, that's how much energy we'll get. Looking at today's yield for that day, we got probably about 0.2 kilowatt hours, which again, not very much, but every little helps. Now so far I've painted a pretty dim view, but let's jump forward to the 26th of January, 2024. That's four weeks later, something like that. And we can see here, we've got actually a bright sunny day, still quite cold but uh, sun comes up around 10 o'clock and stays with us all day, goes down around, around sort of three, four o'clock. You can see that, uh, yeah, we produced a good lot of energy that day. Nine o'clock, just after nine, it, it jumps right up to around uh, 900 watts and proceeds to go just above 1,000, say 1,100, something around there for midday, and then starts to climb down. We can see a sharp decline after two o'clock because the level of the sun in the sky at that point is, is, is very low. And I have got a bit of tree coverage and shadows start to hit uh, in the depths of winter when the sun's out, uh, once we get to sort of later, later afternoon or mid afternoon. But you can see the measurement of light on the bottom, the lux, uh, very comparable again in relation to how many watts we were getting. And if we look for that day, how much kilowatt hour we produced, we did pretty good that day, which was, you know, 5.4 kilowatt hours. That's not too bad. And just to remember, these are four 405 watt Longi panels. So a maximum of around 1,600 watts or 1 1.6 kilowatt at any one time. So you can see here, even in the depths of winter, if that sun is shining, we've got 1,100 watts. If you can angle your panels, a lot lower so the the angle is more to the lower sun during the winter you're going to push that value up a bit but that's a lot of hassle associated with changing the angle of the panels throughout the year when when summer the sun is very high in the sky and during winter it's a lot, it's a lot lower so just leave in mind without adjusting them during the winter i'm getting yeah a pretty good pretty good yield on a on a on a sunny day so in summary, solar panels in the UK during winter, it's just, it's just not worth it. And absolutely, if British weather was like this all year round, it just obviously wouldn't be worth it. But during the summer, autumn, spring, summer, we get a lot of sun. It's certainly worth it during those months. And winter, you, you get back what you can. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.